Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 2.8.1 and Eagle Dynamics KA50 Black Shark 3 module. Welcome to tutorial 2, the Vicar Missile. Today we're going to learn all about the 9K121 Vicar anti-tank missile, NATO reporting name AT-9. This is a uh, intended for use against armoured vehicles, both those which are static and those which are moving. It can also be used against airborne targets, both head-on and receding, which are travelling at up to 800 kilometres per hour. It's uh, possible to carry two pods, two Vicar kind of uh, pods, on the outer pylons only, so that's pylons 1 and 4. Each pod carries six missiles for a total of 12, and that's what I'm demonstrating here, the maximum possible loadout of Vicar missiles. Let's jump inside the cockpit now, where it's a little bit quieter. Um, there are a few different ways of employing these missiles. These are laser beam riding anti-tank missiles, so as such, they need to remain within the laser beam, so effectively the missile needs to be in between your helicopter and the target at all times. There's no possibility with this type of weapon to do buddy lasing or other similar funny little tricks. Uh, you need to be illuminating your target, and the missile needs to travel down your laser beam all the way to the target. It has a receiver in the tail as opposed to in the nose as you would have with many western missiles of this type. So initial setup. Uh, down here on the bottom left on your weapons control panel of course your weapon and navigation sorry targeting and navigation system needs to be powered on your KO41 switch. Uh, you're going to want your laser into standby which I've now done. You have two modes that you can use the, the pods in. They can be an automatic tracking or a gun sighted mode, or bore sighted, I guess, really, would be the correct term for it. What you'll find is that in bore sighted mode, they just point straight, like at the horizon. If you leave them in auto tracking mode, the pods actually angle up and down, much like the Hellfire launchers and uh, rocket launchers that you see in the Apache. So basically, you're pretty much always going to want this in the forward automatic position. Uh, there's not really any reason to not do that. Then I'm going to go and hide my stick so we can see the, the weapons control panel here. If I go ahead and push weapons select outer on my cyclic, which I'm going to do now, you'll see, well, first thing that we saw before was we had white lights on the outer pylons showing that we have weapons there. We now have green lights showing that that weapon is the currently selected weapon. NC is the indication that you get for the Vickers, and it shows us the remaining number of missiles, which in this case is 12. We're going to go Master Arm on, making the missile ready to use. The other thing that you can check here is the automatic and manual system control switch basically controls whether or not you can launch the missile outside of parameters. In manual mode, you always get the C, which is uh, launch authorized. In automatic mode, you will only get launch authorized if you're within parameters. The other one that you can control is the weapon mode switch burst length. In short, you will launch a single Vicar. In medium or long positions, you'll actually fire a pair, one from each launcher. I'm going to leave it in short for just now. Uh, and those are basically all the things that you're going to use. Uh, now, as I said, there are three different ways, uh, as far as I see it, to target the, the weapon. Using the cheval in boresight and then just slewing over the target. Making use of a navigational target point in the event that you have a pre-planned target. And using the helmet mounted sight. So I will demonstrate those three methods. First one will be the uh, navigational target point uh, in the event that you have something pre-planned and the way we can make use of that is select target points select the target point you want to attack in this case I want target point number one I'm going to confirm on my abris that I have that target point there it is flashing box over the cross and it's uh, target point number one and then all I have to do is press cheval uncage the cheval will uncage and immediately move on target in the HUD here, I'll just double check the symbology here, this NT just confirms that we have the Vickers, 12 is the remaining number, 8.8 .8 is the number of kilometres to the currently lased target. It's showing us where the pods are, we've got outer and outer. This circle is the actual Vicar um, reticle, and this smaller circle with the kind of dashes 
uh, top, bottom, left and right is where the cheval is currently looking. So we're 8.8. Normal engagement range or normal maximum engagement range is about 8 kilometers, but that's going to vary. It can be as much as 10 kilometers depending on conditions. I'm zooming down on the cheval now. I'm going to go narrow field of view on the cheval. Here you can see we've got a, a variety of uh, BMP targets. I'm going to reduce the size of my target gate and then, actually no, the original size was fine, and I'm going to depress target designate or lock target. And you'll see that we now have TA. That now means the system is doing a contrast lock on that target. You'll see the target gate kind of jiggling around the target. That means that we can now maneuver the helicopter and it will continue to track that target. And it relays and we got 8.7 kilometers, which is outside of maximum range. Now, of course, I could go ahead and switch to manual mode and fire a missile right now, uh, but that will almost certainly not quite reach the target. But let's do that anyway, just for fun. Um, you'll also see that once we have a target being tracked, uh, the Vicar reticle now has range indication, which will unwind uh, counterclockwise. As it passes this line, being maximum range, you would then normally get a C, but I've set it into manual mode now, so I have a C anyway. So before launch, you generally want to maneuver the helicopter to put the Vicar uh, reticle over your target, and then it's a long press on weapons release. And that's the rocket away. We'll do F6 view so we can watch it going in. It has a tumbling kind of trajectory. And I think it only has, um, if I remember correctly, it only has control surfaces on one side. So that's why it's spinning. So that it can maintain um, track on its target. Yeah, this is going to go just short, I think. Or will it hit? <sighs> Ooh, just barely short. There you go. Uh, that's a tandem warhead, so it can deal with most types of armoured targets, including those with reactive armour. But yeah, yeah, we've scared him, but we haven't actually damaged him. Let's switch back to automatic, and let's get a little bit closer for a follow-up attack. I'm going to come out of auto hover, and away we go. We're going to advance towards the target. And once we're in range, the helicopter will confirm by showing me the C. You'll also notice the reticle switched sides. Uh, I first launched from the left-hand pod, and you'll see that the reticle is now on the right-hand side, indicating that I'm going to launch from the right-hand side next. Now let's keep the reticle kind of on target. That will make it immediately show up the sea when it's time. Uh, we're not particularly high here. You know, I'm only at about 500 or so metres. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, this is not the... You know, we're not going to get the maximum possible range out of the missile. Should be within maximum range just about now. Yep, launch authorised. Push and hold. And missile away. And let's, let's observe an actual strike on the target this time. <laughs> See how much it jiggles with that kind of one uh, one axis control. Boom! Impact, and that BMP is destroyed. Okay, I'm going to slow down a little bit here and pop it back into a hover. You'll see that when the target is outside of the field of view of the HUD, I get a box, and that box will actually flash if I go uh, if I start to approach the maximum. Um, kind of gimbal limits of the cheval. There we go, we're nice and slow now. Let's arrest that descent. Let's hold it there and go auto hover on. And let's hit weapon system reset. And that will deselect everything we previously had selected. And I'm going to show you how to target something using the helmet mounted sight now. So with the helmet mounted sight, uh, you can either have this on your HOTAS, which I do, or if you don't want it on your HOTAS, you have the HMS switch here, flip the switch up, and the helmet mounted sight will, will come up. All you have to do, just as a demonstration, is put the dot on the target you want to hit, and then push and hold the cheval uncage. Actually, it turns out, oh, that's not working, because I have not deselected nav target mode. There you go. Uh, let's do a, a reset. And now, you'll notice that it starts to flash as we go uh, near the field of view limits. 
well actually that is the field of view limit and it's solid when we can actually target something let's put it over something here push and hold cheval you'll get a flashing cross and then the cross becomes solid uh, once the cheval has finished moving or slewing to that point so i'm going to bring this around here actually i'm going to go uh, cheval wide field of view that's going to make my life a little bit easier and you can see that's a target there release and now the cheval will hold in that position and I can fold away the helmet mounted sight if I want and then refine using my, my designator cursor. I'm actually going to go narrow field of view again, depress to lock and I now have TA for track. Uh, but I do not have a C and that's simply because I need to nose the aircraft down. I'm too... I'm in two of our nose high attitude right now to actually make that shot. So uh, I'm going to push the nose. Well, actually, I haven't even selected a weapon. In fact, that's my problem. Selecting outers. Wait for the uh, the pod to angle down. I now have a C. Push and hold weapons release. That's a vicar away. That's a rifle, I guess you would say. And in just a moment, we should have impact. Boom. Uh, this countdown timer, by the way, is the cooldown time for the laser. Uh, once it goes to zero, you can actually make use of the, the laser again. And just for fun, this time we're going to repeat. Let's uh, depress on this target here. And I'm going to switch to medium burst length. And that means it's actually going to fire both uh, pods this time. So, depress. Weapons release. You hear? Foosh, foosh. You can see two Vickers in flight dancing around there. They should hit at just about the same time. Boom! Impact and uh, job done. Right, let's hit weapons reset again. Let's push for outer pylons one more time. We still have seven missiles remaining. Going to pop it back down into short. And what I'm going to demonstrate this time is Cheval in Boresight. So if I just hit... Uh, cheval on cage, you'll see my circle is all the way up here. It defaults to about 15 degrees nose up, but I can simply slew down. Actually, I'm going to go wide field of view just to make that faster. Slew all the way down. And once again, we can get eyes on target. So, you know, if you... If the nose of your aircraft is fairly close to a target, just you can just uncage and slew. Uh, I would suggest that in most occasions, if you're hitting a target of opportunity, the helmet-mounted sight is probably going to be the way to go. Go. Because um, that's going to be much, much quicker. But um, if something's quite close to the nose, then yeah, you can acquire it like this. Once again, hit lock. Long press. Oh, actually, I need to slew to the right a little. Long press. Vickers away. And that's going to be another kill, I suspect. And we're down to six. Boom. Target destroyed. Okay. Weapon system reset. Master arm off. And we're now safe once again. And then one last thing to note. Uh, you've got your, select, your uh, stores jettison here. Note that that does nothing with the Vickers, because the Vicar pods cannot be jettisoned. However, you do have these two switches here, Weapon Arm, and this controls whether or not the, the Vickers will jettison armed or unarmed. I'm going to leave them unarmed in this occasion. Uh, and then you've got ATGM Jettison, uh, and this is an emergency launch of the ATGMs, either armed or not armed. I've got it not armed. And if I flip this up and hold it with the left mouse button, it will simply dump the missiles into the air. You'll see they go kind of ballistic in actual fact. And uh, that's a quick way of dumping that weight. Uh, and uh, if, you're, if your helicopter is having problems, that will make it a little bit easier to get back to base in whatever condition you currently are in. So that's uh, all the different ways of employing the Vicar anti-tank missile. Uh, the 9K121 Vicar AT-9. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. That's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of joining Deep Hack's ground crew, and thank you very much to everyone who has done so so far. Uh, you have a join button below the video if you'd like to do so. Thank you very much to Frantic Stone, Mr. Yeti, Griff Nizzle, Chandro Hedgewald, JR Walker, Mangash, Channel Wright, Storm Kimbari, Byron Farrow, Leo Netzel, Harish Rajan, Pink Floyd, and Bread. Thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.